Last time, we saw that just connecting the new antenna to the new transmission line will not result in a lot of power being delivered to the antenna load. Let's consider what we might be able to do about this. I can think of two options. First, we could change the load impedance to be 70 ohms to match the transmission line. Then we would have a load matched to the transmission line, but that would mean changing the antenna or the characteristics of the antenna in order to change the impedance. And that's not an option because Han already bought it with a lot of credits and we need it to function the way it was designed to function. The second option is to make changes to the transmission line in order to better match the antenna with a complex impedance to it. So trans changes to, I'll say make changes to the transmission line. To study what we might be able to do to the transmission line, it would be helpful to understand what is called the input impedance, Zn. The input impedance is the combined impedance of everything to the right of the observation point at position D. So here we at uh, position D. So that is, if I'm standing at position D, Zn tells me the total impedance for the rest of the transmission line and the load together. So all of this together. An equivalent circuit for Zn is shown here. That is, we could remove all the transmission line and the load beyond it. We could remove all of this and replace it with a circuit element equal to the input impedance. If we did this, the behavior of the sinusoidal steady state voltages and the currents on this part of the transmission line would be identical, so here, would be identical to those on the transmission line on the bottom of the slide. So in this part of the transmission line, they would be the both, the voltage and the current would be the same on the top as on the bottom. Now you would, you might be wondering about Z naught. Didn't we say the impedance of the transmission line was Z-naught, the characteristic impedance? 